geeks, what is going on? Unite the clans here. Back in your life. I will explain where I am in just a moment. You will notice a few things are different from the last episode. I've been doing some work. Number one, this crater is a lot bigger than it used to be. I messed up by some creepers. As I do. Then you might say, hey, where there wasn't a forest here? We were scrabbling for wood. It was hard to find. I have changed everything. We now have a forest of our own. And there's more. I've, like I said, been doing some work. So we're going to go back out uh, just across the bay from the spot we were standing fishing a couple episodes ago. And we'll look back up at the house. Check it. So, like I said, I've been doing some work. I started off on a roof on that thing. And I've added some structures. You remember last time. There was a hole here. And we would go up in that and it would come out in another kind of uh, hole, like a cave on the other side. And we built a little house there last episode. In the episode before, uh, when you follow the cave from this place, you go up a ladder. You can come out over here in another cave and then we would go up to the house. So I have covered just about every cave entrance in this place with one of these. And we're going to do that to this place. We're going to infest this side of the, the gate. Uh, I want houses popping in and out of it. Uh, I'm going to be doing some cool things with these. I haven't figured out all the design yet, but I like that combination. I really like the oak and acacia combination, but we'll throw some other woods in there when we get access to them. So I'll show you this first building. It looks like a building in just a freaking little staircase. Very cute. I couldn't place a door at the bottom, so we'll place one there. And then we would head through this cave to the spot we built last episode. Now you remember, this one we were going to have to figure out how to go up, and get into the cave that's directly above us. So I just kept, uh, at the end of last episode, we had built the structure above this. Well, I fleshed that out a little. I didn't want to do too much away from camera. I actually tried to record this episode a couple times, but my dog kept interrupting me, and then I, I was just hating the one that I was doing a minute ago, so I just restarted it. I, I just wasn't in a, I wasn't showing off all the, the good mood that I'm in, and I am now. So I've filled this up. I filled in these frames. I added a couple of these. And then I added in the roof A-frames. So like I said, I did not mean to do so much away from camera, but um, it just it just happened that way. I also put a ladder up here just so I could explore. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to maybe do like a four gabled roof on here so that, you know, I, it dips down in the corners here, but maybe goes straight across or maybe it peaks up. It could even dip down. There's a hundred cool options. Um, oh my. Is that my boat? Okay, good. No, I thought my boat floated all the way out there. Uh, so this is what it's looking like right now. And um, you remember we hadn't finished the roof on uh, our first house, which is, honestly, it's just through here. So before, this was an open gap, and we'd just, like, sneak up the side of the hill. Now I've kind of, like, again, just filled in a cave entrance. This one's really simple. You can't even tell that's a hatch. It looks like a little building from the outside. We'll even put a roof on this thing, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and then... Um, and then over here, just we got the old house, which looks just like this. So I haven't done much up here, um, but I'll show you. Oh, I forgot to grab, dang, we'll have to go back. I forgot to grab, uh, I'm making more cobble, uh, not cobble, stone brick stairs. So this is the rough idea of the roof. Uh, so go across like this, and then the real key, the thing that makes this really work, and I got this from, uh, this is similar to the roof I did at Nordragar. I got the design from Big Bad Bam, who's another YouTuber go out one, go out another, and then underhang it. Uh, so I have a few. I thought I was out. Uh, so I'll just give you a little little taste of that. Why don't we eat, eat some cooked mutton? I've been struggling with food, too. Oh, I've had some... I just deleted all the footage, because like I said, I got grumpy and hated the stuff I just did. Um, but I had a creeper come up here, and I just... To save the building, I did a swan dive off this and died horribly. Um, but yeah, just to start... Get the roof going... You just go all the way across like that, normal way up. And then out here, you would go out a couple more. So let's say we just did that one. If you, oh, that's going to be rough. Nope, good. So you can see, you would just go underneath and hang another one, an upside down stair. I haven't figured out what to do with this section. I think we may be tweaking the roof. I don't think it's going to end up looking like that. I don't, it's too pointy. It feels too Viking. I want this to feel more like Barney, a little more farmhouse like. Oh, I've trapped my freak self in here, haven't I? What an idiot. Give me that. I, I'm a little worried about this guy. He's driving me. He's, he's making me nervous. But yes, yeah, so we're going to keep doing this, and I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, last episode. I didn't realize it when I was playing. I realized it during the edit, and I mentioned it. 
uh, when I shared the episode on social media. I think it was called My uh, Creeper Can- or Zombie Convention in Town or something silly like that. That's what I called last episode. At the end of the episode, at the end of editing the episode, I had like, I felt reinvigorated and I felt like I was back in love with Minecraft. And I didn't know I'd fallen out of love with it, really. Um, I think as a YouTuber, it is very, very important to pay attention to your your numbers. YouTube, as a as an organization, gives its creators a whole bunch of really cool tools to monitor their progress, their success, figure out what's working and what's not, and to grow the channel, right? Which is what everybody's trying to do. They want they want to be bigger. They want to be more known, and it, mainly so that they can connect with more cool people. At least that's the way I think about it. But also, um, you know, also because eventually, for a lot of us, we'd love it to be our job one day. Uh, and, you know, there's no way to do that with only 100 subscribers, right? It just, I don't know anyone who's ever done it. Most people I know who get to that point are sneaking close to 100,000. Unless they live with their moms, which I suppose is a possibility if I was really serious about it. But I got a pretty swanky pad now with lots of cool tech. You know, I'm 31. I do not want to move back with my mom, which I guess is the easiest way to go full time. But I forget my point. Yes, yes. So you get wrapped up in numbers sometimes. And it's very easy to do because they're so important to what we do as YouTubers, to figuring out how well we are doing. I'm banging this out. I think we're going to try something different here. So yes, like I said, I had not realized I had fallen out of love with Minecraft, but I had just been looking and going, yeah, my series in general get, you know, 90 to 100 views. Again, not all my videos do that, but if you average them out, you know, there's a couple over a thousand. Uh, if you average those with the, the Minecraft videos that are getting 20 or so, then then uh, that's about what it gets to. Now, um, like I said, I was getting a little caught up in the numbers, and I realized Minecraft numbers aren't good. Um, and I don't think they'll ever be. And I was thinking of not playing it because of that. That roof is a little lopsided. Oh, don't come for me now. I'm in the middle of talking. You fool, get back. Yes, I've done it. I've outran your fool. Your fool explosion. Okay, I got you now, you fool. Do I need a fourth chop? Oh, thank God. Okay, now nice, nice for me to show you guys some decent creeper fighting. Yes. Yeah, so the roof is all lopsided, as you can tell. I don't know which side is better, and I can't even see really if the roof is good from there. Frick it. Um, well, we'll at least go even it out. That would be the wise thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, all right, and on my way, I will grab us the stuff we need to make some more stairs. And I was trying to stop getting distracted for you guys. So my thought was, oh, yes. If a Minecraft series is always going to get 20 views instead of, or it's always going to lag behind my other stuff, should I be spending my time on the other stuff? Should I be making more ARC videos that get, you know, 40 to 100 lately? And I've gotten as many as, you know, 1,900 views in the past. Should I focus more on that instead of, you know, spending you know, part of my Mondays or whatever making uh, Minecraft videos? And I thought, oh, that's one way to do it, but do I never want to play Minecraft again on the channel? Uh, and with my life, you know, making so many videos a week, I don't have time to do much gaming for fun. So if I'm not playing something on the channel, I'm not really playing it. Uh, and I was thinking, do I want to cut Minecraft out and cut it out for good? And the answer was no. So I just started thinking, why worry about the numbers? Why not have fun? People are watching. It's not like it's getting zero views or three or four views. You know, there's a, there's a good little chunk of you guys who come back to the series every week, and I really appreciate that. And I guess what I'm saying, you know, that it's hard to come to a, a clear point when you're talking, uh, when you're commentating here on YouTube, because you're distracted by the game. But yeah, I'm back in love with it, and I think I want to keep doing this as long as the same crew of you cool people, and I know who you are because you're commenting. Um, I know your names, and we, we've chatted many a time on my Minecraft videos and other, and I appreciate that some of the you guys who found my channel through Minecraft are finding my other stuff. Um, I'm, I can't promise I'll do this series forever. I probably definitely won't stay at Ocean's Gate if we keep doing this for years uh, down the line. Maybe we'll do a second season, we'll pick a new seed, or we'll leave this island uh, at the very least. Um, and, um, but... You know, like I said, can't promise I'll do it forever, but I want to keep doing it. You know, I see this value in it, and it's like connecting with the, you know, 
I call you guys geeks as a term of endearment. It's connecting with the geekiest of the geeks. Um, and I like that there's a smaller crew. I have videos that will let me connect with hundreds of you guys. Um, I think it's good to have a video that lets you connect with a little specific group as well. Um, and I don't know. I just, I just want to say I'm loving Minecraft more than I've loved it in a while. Dang, I can't even remember which side needs the work done to it. Is this one? Oh, what a what a fool. What a dang fool I am. Get up there. All right, we'll make your damn point, Unite the Clans. Guys, if you keep watching, I'll keep making. And I especially love, there are a few of you guys out there who have been sharing uh, this stuff with your friends. You've been asking your friends to come check out the channels. That's honestly the... Uh, I, I just, I didn't think I'd have people that would do that for me. Um, some of you guys are, are really like what I do and, and I appreciate that and, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to change too much. I don't want to get away from the roots. The roots, uh, you know, it, it isn't Minecraft that, that got me to the point I'm at now, but it was there. You know, it wasn't the driving force, but it was there and I want it to keep being there, to always be there. Um, to be, you know, because like, you know, I have my favorite YouTubers too, right? And when I look and I go like, oh yeah, uh, Building with B-double-O episode, I don't even know, 238, something like that. And like Kurt uh, J. Mack with uh, Farlands or Bust, I, isn't he at like, I don't know, 600 or something? It's hard to keep track of people's episode numbers. But my point is these guys have this like, kind of a, uh, it's like a legacy you're leaving behind. It's your, uh, your little mark on the game. And um, I don't want to not have that. So even if even if it doesn't make a big mark, I'm going to keep working away here at Ocean's Gate. And I said that, you know, more, I, I don't know, maybe I said part of it in a, a dang video, but uh, I said, said it on social media and uh, connected with a couple of you guys, the ones who are, uh, the ones who always comment. Um, and if you're not one of them, that's cool too. I was a lurker for a long time until I started thinking about having a channel and I realized what you know, leaving a comment or a like can do to help a YouTuber. Oh, what a mess. Can do to help a YouTuber. That's that's when I started being more active, but it was really not natural for me to be active in the comments. So if you're not, don't sweat it. I know you're out there. I know you're watching. I know there's some very cool, uh, there's some lurkers out there. Oh, what is going on with this dang roof? What a hell of a, I don't even know what I've done. I think I've got to go one more. I think with that done, do we go once more? Or is that it? No. Yes, we must go one more. I'm gonna get across... No, I don't. I don't. I don't think. I'm gonna get across the bay and this is gonna look lopsided again. I'll tell you. Get out here. Go down the dang thing. So, hashtag Minecraft for life. Hashtag Ocean's Gate forever. Hashtag you guys keep watching. I am gonna keep playing. Because, I mean, have we, like, even a, you know, a few months ago if I thought... Yo, 15 to 20 people are going to watch you play Minecraft for 15 to 20 minutes every goddamn week. I would have been like, yeah, right. You know, I like, you know, it's nice to have faith in yourself, but I wasn't sure that anybody would watch. It's hard to have There's poor construction methods here. Come on, get your, who's the, who's the general contractor on this one? Me. I'm the, I'm the one who failed there. Uh, okay. Come on, get out there. Let's go have a look at this grand, beautiful thing. You guys tell me what you think. Have I done a good thing? I, I like it. Oh, it's not the same on both sides. Did I mess that up? Oh, I don't... I don't even know what I did. Oh, it is the same. Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, yes, I get it. Okay. I just... I, I understand. Alright. Um... So this is actually not a lot happening in this episode. For that, I apologize, guys. But I guess that's the way it's going to be. I'm thinking of this show now, this ep this series, as just a way to have fun and, uh, you know, kind of feels like hanging out with you guys. Um, feel with some of my, you know, my favorite subscribers, the people who spread the word on this channel. Uh, and put big smiles on my face every day. And I know you're out there watching. Uh, I won't say your names. Don't want to embarrass you in front of all the other people watching, if there are any. But oh, oh God, what a, what a, I jump scare myself in Minecraft day in day out. Uh, and we need to go. Is this the way we went up? Yes. 
So what I have done, like a fool, is I carried this lip all the way across. Get up on the thing. Yes, yeah, so this, see this? That is how you do it. Hang it out by one there. All right, I think if I hop down here, this is what the other side looks like. I hope. Um, I'm also, oh. Yes, that is the same, right? Okay, job done. This is kind of, this is almost done. There we go. I think that should do it. So guys, we've got this dang roof done. I've showed you off a few of these cool new structures and I have <laughs> in articulately rambled on, bumbled on talking about my love for Minecraft and my love for you guys. I hope you don't mind the nonsense that is spewed out of my mouth today, but I just wanted to find a way to let you guys know if at any point it looked like my interest in this amazing game was was fading, it has come back. Um, it may fade again someday, but you know I have the I figured it out. I figured out what the point of this is, and it's yeah, just get to hang out with you guys and share a mutual love of Minecraft. Whether there's a hundred thousand people watching or ten, I'm cool with it, and uh, I want to keep it up. I want to keep it up. Ah, that looks kind of cool. Um, I don't like that I can see the ceiling through there. I was thinking of maybe doing glass up there, but I don't like that. I don't like the way that ceiling looks underneath. I guess I could line it with wood, but then you really start messing with your interior space. Either way, that's something we're going to think about next episode. I'm ending another one looking straight up at this house, like I did two episodes ago. Uh, I'm not going to end it fishing like I did the last episode and the episode before. I'm just going to take a peek at that and say, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Unite the Clans. I'm going to keep making these Ocean's Gate videos as long as y'all keep watching. Thank you for watching. And um, I'm going to see all you guys in the next episode of the Mine.